Hello everyone, this is Andy. I am back with the video and this is going to be the step one on how to install your own private Final Fantasy server. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and break down the steps as far as what you need to download and what you need to install. Uh, everything should be uh, in the comments below or in the description as far as what you need to download and where to download. I'll put the link to everything in there. So first, let's go ahead and... So if I'm speaking very fast, uh, just please ask the questions in the comments. I'm to make this video as simple and quick as possible so you're not spending a lot of time just going in circles. We're getting your own Final Fantasy server set up and installed. Uh, but the first question I do want to ask is, uh, why do you want to why do you want to install this game? Because uh, there is a lot involved with this game as far as um, you know, getting the installation and everything um, set up and everything. As far as you know, um, keeping up with it, make sure you don't have any bugs so that your server doesn't crash or anything. So what? So the question is, why do you want to install this game? If you want to install it, just to go ahead and explore some of the places that you maybe didn't have a chance to explore in the past. Um, you know, that's that's pretty much why I did it. You know, I quit back in I think 2020, sorry, 2003 or four or something like that. I quit this game and at a couple of level 75 characters. And when I came back to it, everything is pretty cha pretty much changed. So the question is, why do you want to play this game? So if you want to explore different worlds and stuff that you never had a chance to see, I highly recommend it because uh, the game is, even though it's you know it's a pretty old game, but this game is still something that will never let go because of the, you know, just the his, uh, just the connection I had to it back when I was a university student. So, um, yeah, basically, let's go, anyways, um, sorry to go on a tangent there, but basically to get things started, what I want you to do is download NaviCat light version. Please make sure this is the light version. If you download the NaviCat, sorry, go down here. If you download NaviCat uh, MySQL, it's going to be a 14-day trial, and a lot of people, my last uh, session I had with these YouTube videos, people had a lot of trouble with this. Um, and they said the the timer ran out. They didn't have enough time to. Uh, they couldn't find the original ver uh, the, the the free version. So the free version will be here. I will put this in the link. Just make sure you download this, and it should look exactly like this one here. So Navicat Lite. Uh, there are some things you actually can't use. Like you can't use this function here. Uh, you have to basically buy it. But everything else, as far as getting the game up and running, you don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, this is my personal connection here to Darkstar. You can name it whatever you want. Darkstar, Darkstar. My table is all listed here, all for the game. And um, I'm also going to put a link, uh, in addition to the link here, I'm going to put a link to uh, where you can download my SQL server. Uh, that is a big one. Um, let me go ahead and pop this up here. Okay. So basically, just going down the things that we need, we're going to need my SQL. I recommend 5.7. I mean, you can choose either, either one of these here. You need Visual Studio. Just show you what that is here. If you're not too familiar with Visual Studio, is basically, um, you, can, you have to use this basically to build your... You know, you have to load the files. File. You have to open the the project files here, and you're going to have to load it. Um, this is not Final Fantasy. It's my personal programming here, but just skip off of this here. And you're going to have you're going to have to download this in order to get your in order to compile your Final Fantasy server. And all the just to go ahead and give you a brief look at what you're going to be downloading from the Darkstar forms. You're basically going to be downloading this here. This is a copy of all the the files that we need in order to run the Final Fantasy uh, the game here offline so all your SQL files will be here um, this is pretty confusing just to you know basically you're gonna go into the MySQL folder and drag everything over here um, that's yeah pretty pretty simple okay continuing here let's go down you're gonna download Visual Studio uh, you can download the two uh, the 2022 version or 2019 doesn't really matter as long as you're able to compile that uh, these files because once you compile as you see here let me go back okay as you can see here there's no runtime files here but my compiled version will be over here let me go back and okay so it's going to the compiled version that I have here Let's see here, Dark Star. Just open it here. So I'm speaking very low. I do have a child who's sleeping right now. I can't speak how I want to speak. Okay, so this is the compiled version I have here of the game. As you can see here, everything is here. This, all the files have been compiled through Visual Studio, and I'm able to run the game like this. So basically, you should have your you know your your server to con uh, the connect server. Basically, you connect basically just connecting to your computer, which will be ran. Uh, through the MySQL. You have the server here. This is the, the actual server itself that you're connected to. And the search here is basically if you have any players or 
Um, I believe it also connects to the Armor House. I, I completely forgot a bit away from it for so long. But basically, when you search the, the server itself, you'll be able to see other players in your own server. And that's going to be another video, how to get players to connect to your server. I've had it. I've done it before. Uh, you know, some people have connected to my, my server, had up and running back in the past. Uh, but the server is no longer there. Okay, so just skipping down here, trying to make this video as short and simple as possible. Let's see. So MySQL, just do the typical installation, just follow the steps here. This will be in the link. Uh, if you can't open it, as you see, this is not is not secure. So I had issues opening this web page myself. If you have any issues, uh, I will try to make a, a separate text document. Uh, we're able to download it because I actually I couldn't get it myself. It took I had to go through another website to get here. So yeah, so you got it's all free. Basically, everything pretty much is free. Uh, make sure you install the runtime files 2015. Uh, let's go down here. And setting up your database setting up here um, the thing is uh, a lot of people have had issues with using Navicat as far as the triggers file there's a file called triggers and I actually have problems myself I don't, actually don't see it in my Navicat here let me just go ahead and open that up again so it's going to connect Darkstar my table so I don't have the triggers file here but I'm still able to run the game and this triggers file here. Um, yeah, I'm still able to run the game with no problem. So if you have any issues, please comment below, and I'll try my best to guide you through on how to get that resolved. Because they actually have, uh, yeah. So he basically here on how to get this resolved. So if you have any issues with the triggers SQL file, then follow the follow these steps here basically. Okay, and this pretty yeah, pretty much guides you through it. And yeah, so building your server, you're gonna have to open, like I said, open the project. So you're gonna go over here. Because people who are familiar with Visual Studio, they had to, you know. So basically, you're gonna go over here to file, open, open the project. You're gonna, you're gonna have to locate your, well, these are my projects here, but you're gonna have to open the file, basically. Oh, is it here? Oh, it's not here. Okay, open the folder. Or file, you can start from there. And once you open the folder, you can uh, just just open your Darkstar uh, folder, and it will do everything for you. So here, as I showed you, it should have all three there, and you're pretty much ready to connect. Um, and this is how you set up. I I could just show you. I'm kind of afraid to show my IP address, but basically, um, you're going to enter these here in your my in your SQL. So let me just go ahead and open this up here. So I have, let's see, Workbench. Yeah, so I have, a, oh, I do have 8.0. Okay, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. So you could use 8.0. But don't download the server. I did this like a, a so use the service that they recommend. It's 5.6, 5.8, I think. Okay, here, so 5.6 and 5.7. So definitely use those. Don't use the newer version because uh, I did have issues with that. Uh, let's see here. So my Darkstar server connection is here. And that's going to set it up right over here. Where did it go? This, yeah, you want people, because I think my last, the videos I made about six years ago, people couldn't connect. But you have to open these ports uh, to allow your friends to play on your server. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're going to enter in your MySQL. You're going to keep, uh, you're going to put these settings into actually here and also so server I'm gonna go more into detail in, in these uh, when you know how to set these up later because uh, this should be a video itself because these are, this is pretty confusing you know, especially if you're not too familiar with computers or familiar with um, with building your own server so basically this is my on uh, my copy here my backup okay let's go to my backup folder here so Darkstar login, you're going to open your own file here and go down. You're going to enter everything here. But this one, it depends on what you, it depends on what you, the name of your database is. You're going to go ahead and open, change IP address here. Whatever your local uh, your local IP address is, you're going to put it here. The, uh, the same port, the root, if you have a password, uh, and then your the name of your database. So basically mine, if I go here, Mine is dark star, so I'm gonna just label this, change this to dark star, so it, they're able to communicate with each other. So you have that file. You also have. Let me go ahead and open the next one here. Okay, I believe it's the server search again. This file, server search is basically if you have any people connected to your server, you can see who's there. 
So here, I believe, again, I believe the auction house too. So your IP address should go here, same thing, the database, so they can communicate properly, and the map. So scroll down, you're gonna put it here as well. If these aren't, if these aren't, uh, if you don't have the correct IP address or the correct server name, it's not going to connect. I tested it out myself. It does not work. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, one of the, the other things that you want to download is, Win I use Windows 4. I don't know if there are any newer versions or newer kind of uh, connection. Uh, things to connect to your private server, but you definitely going to need a Windows 4. Let me just show you what that looks like. So it's going to ask for permission. Open that. It's a Windows 4. And this is my profile. I can edit it here. Edit things here. Uh, but what you actually have to do is you have to go into you have to go into the installation folder and edit the config file itself. Again, this is going to be another video because I don't. I if I open it now, it's going to show my personal IP address and such. So what I want to do is open make a separate video for that so you guys can do it yourself. Um, I think. That is pretty much it. Um, it. Except for you're gonna have to download the game itself. It's gonna be a big download. So let me go ahead and just show you. Let's see. See so I can find it here. So download. It's, this should be very like relatively simple. If you go ahead and, and just search Google, you'll be able to find. Yeah, you can find these here. Yeah, you can find it here. It's pretty simple. And then when there was a user who had issues uh, looking for this, and I will put this in the link as well. So that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, what I want you to do first is make sure you download everything that you need in order to get the game running. And then uh, what I'm going to do is just show you how to install everything in the next video. So please subscribe. And just if you have any questions, please listen in the comments, and I will get back to you uh, promptly. Thank you very much, and you guys have a wonderful day.